Hi, I'm Don Carswell, General Manager of Dublin Chevrolet. When you buy from us, it's all about time. We pledge to save you time and money. And now is the best time for savings like these. Drive the Silverado LT Crew Cab for as low as $39,999. Or drive the Equinox LS from only $24,998. And the economical Chevy Track starts at only $17,861. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Chevrolet, the only dealer you'll ever need. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. I'm your host, Scott Davenport, and for this socially distant experiment this week, as always, it's my pleasure to welcome Coach Ben Turner. Yes, sir. Now, Coach, uh, you know, travel have had our first game of the year last uh, last week, and it, you know, I think you know, uh, there's no uh, way of you know, saying that, you know, you you could be totally <laughs> pleased with the, the outcome. However, uh, you know, there were some bright spots, uh, some things that, you know, we know we need to, to work on for next week uh, and, and the season. Uh, what are your, you know, your thoughts, thoughts of the coaching staff after, you know, looking at film, meeting with the guys uh, Sunday afternoon? about you know what's what's taking place well we're, we're still trying to find that confidence um mm -hmm. you know and that was the thing because i'm going to tell you we are a lot better football team than we showed mm -hmm. on friday yeah. uh you know it was a it was a team that you know that it, that has beat us the last couple of years and um it, right now where we are mentally is we know them we know what has happened and i i Think that that just kind of holds us back right now, and that's something we're 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 preaching the heck out of not you know not allowing into the program. But you know sometimes it's easier said than done. Uh, you know uh, mm -hmm. that's why originally you know if you look at how the schedule was, you had a scrimmage, then you had another game, game. then you were going to play, then yeah. you were going to play um, play them. Um, but you know it's you know you make your biggest improvements from game one uh, game to game two. two. Yeah. Uh, so we, you know, we know a lot of things that need to be improved on, and there are a lot of them. You know, uh, kids making mistakes that they normally don't make. Uh, you know, stuff that has to be eliminated. Uh, but the good thing is they're willing to do it, and they're ready to, you know, go to Bryan County and, and, and start building the confidence. And I have complete faith that we will, because uh, you know it's a team they know nothing about, and they're going to go down there and they're going to they're going to play well and. You know, and I, I, I'm predicting that things are going to build up, and then the next week we'll be fine, and the next week we'll be fine, and, you know, then we're going to be playing as a very confident football team. Um, but right now, you know, that was the biggest thing, and, it, and, you know, that's the biggest thing in the culture change. You know, you can get them bigger and stronger, uh, but until they believe in themselves, you know, you, you have problems. And, I, you know, we do a lot of stuff to, to build up confidence, but it's just, you know, Got well, that, that distance between the ears is sometimes the biggest distance in sports to have to overcome. Oh yes, yes sir, yes sir, and that that's the biggest thing. We got to get our out of our own way um, mm -hmm. because we're our own worst enemy. And I told them before the game, I said, you know, it's us versus us. And then I ain't worried about the other team. I'm worried about us versus us. And when we start winning that battle, then we're gonna be fine because we are talented and we are strong and we can run. And we just got to, you know, everybody's got to execute their jobs and, 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 and do what we're supposed to. And us as coaches, we just got to do a better job of, of finding ways to get them, to get them sparked up and, and to believe in each other. Uh, you know, I mean, we, we keep trying different things and keep trying different things. We got to find that magic, you know, magic solution to get it fixed. Uh, but we're going to be fine. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I mean, I, I saw a lot of bad, but then I saw some good, uh, you know, it, 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 the way I explained it to the kids, I said it looked like we'd have five to six kids on the field playing confident at one time, and then we'd have five or six that were playing like they had zero confidence. And it showed. I mean, you know, mm -hmm. you've got to all play as one when you're on the football field. 
Uh, you know, you and you can't point blame when something happens because they, there's a you know there's eleven of you. Yeah, yeah. and um, and it takes all. That's one of the things. You know, it is the ultimate team sport. Yes, sir. Because you know everyone looks at when someone scores a touchdown, everyone looks at the person that block you know crossed yes. the goal line. But it took 10 other people to get that person yes, there. Sir. And if they didn't do their job, that person wouldn't be there. Yes, sir. And, you know, there were, there were some little breaks in the game that I think if we could have got to go away, it might have sparked us a little bit. But, you know, I mean, it was 13 nothing at halftime. And one of the, one of those scores came off of, uh, um, what, about a 35-yard scoop and score. Yeah. Um, and when that, that was the first score of the game, I mean, when that happened, it kind of just deflated us a little bit. We got to learn, man. Stuff, you know, there's ebbs and Stuff's flows, and stuff's gonna happen. happen. Uh, you know, we got to keep our heads up and yeah. keep playing. Um, you know, and um, then, you know, in the in the second, late in the second half, we just kind of we kind of ran out of gas, and it, it's not a conditioning thing so much as I, the biggest thing is figuring out how to. I don't think that. Anybody has a solution on how to hydrate right now, and it's not during the game. It's starting on Wednesday and through the week. I mean, right. you know, you're walking through a school. I mean, heck, I've been giving out water bottles um, after weight training because they can't drink out of a water fountain. Yeah. Uh, they can't drink out of any water fountains in here. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, I noticed that last week going through the school. You know, you so see. They can either buy water or drink milk at lunch. Um, and that's really the only, you know, I, mm -hmm. it's not like normal. So, I mean, they, yeah. they've got to start doing better about carrying um, jugs Which around wild, with them and yeah. drinking because we're in too good a shape to start having cramping problems, you right. know, late in the game. I mean, you know, that was a thing I was like, well, because, you know, but Joko was going through the same thing, and I thought we'd be fine, and then all of a sudden it hits us. Yeah. Um, and, you know, we – we we've got we've got numbers, but we don't have a lot of depth in some positions. Uh, you know, we we we're building towards that, but you know, I um, mean, it is what it is. We just gotta we gotta do a better job of taking care of our bodies, and then you know, uh, I know that winning's going to take care of itself because we're going. I really and truly believe that we need to get that first one under our belt, uh, first game under our belt, and. Now, I mean, you know, heck, we all wanted to win, of course, but now we've seen the things to change. We, uh, the kids understand they can't come out, you know, putting their toe in the water and we just got to jump in so, and, and yeah. do your job. So, And th this is something you mentioned, you know, last week and probably the week before. One of the things, and you see it, and, and you see it more than I would as a layperson, but... You can't do someone else's job. No, you can't. You have got to do yours and have faith that that other person is going to do their job. If y'all all, you know, and, and, you know, if everyone has that mentality, then, like you said, everything else will take care of itself. That's right. That's right. And we, I mean, you know, we just didn't have... People weren't doing their job. I mean, like when we were on offense, you'd have one side of the line of scrimmage doing jam up and then you'd have one or two people, you know, not get it done and they'd blow up the play. Mm -hmm. um, defensively, you'd have people trying to do other people's jobs. And I mean, that's the thing we've preached and we've preached and we've preached. If, if you're trying to do somebody else's job, you're not doing your job. Your job. And then you're probably doing a half butt job of their job. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, you can't do that and be mm -hmm. successful. And we just had, we had way too much of that. And uh, you know, Johnson County, I mean, they, you know, they, they, they did lose a few players off of last year's squad, but, I mean, he had a ton coming back, and they were just ready to – they were ready to rock and roll. And, you know, they're coming off of a great season last year, uh, really poised for a really, really great season this year, I do believe. And, um, I mean, heck, man, they were just rocking and rolling, and they were ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got to understand that that's how we've got to be every Friday night. Yeah. Um, you know, we can't come out flat like I told you before this. I mean, I was worried to death about us in pregame because I just saw things that were out of characteristic uh, for our boys. And, and then, um, you know, after that initial scoop and score, I mean, 
you just saw head saying like, man, it's a dang gum touchdown. It's all right. It yeah, happens no one in died. football. Nobody <laughs> died. You're still out here yeah. playing. Go get it back. back. Yeah. But uh, you know, we've got to learn that. I mean, and we just, you know, I, I think right now that when that when stuff like that happens, they're like, is it going is it gonna be the same repetitive thing? Yeah. And, you know, I, I just think that that goes through our heads and we got to understand, we are a lot better football team, all right? We're a lot better football team. I think we've got a very good coaching staff. I mean, we are maybe very young in the coaching staff. I think they work really hard. Um, and we've got to understand that, you know, when things when things happen, we can't we can't get down. I mean, you th things happen when you say, get on my back and let's go, yeah. instead of just cowering down. Yeah. Um, but I don't expect to see that I don't expect to see that anymore. Um, you know, I think that I think that that game has made some of our seniors is going to make some of our seniors step up in the leadership department, um, which is a thing that you know, early in the summer when we were all spread out, I thought we were doing a great job, and in the last few weeks, we just kind of leadership just kind of dissipated. Uh, and you know, you've got to have those leaders out there. Uh, and you know, and then the the young guys have just got to you know they got to trust their leaders and and, and follow them. Mm -hmm. so. All right, well, folks, we're up against a break. We'd like to ask you honor these folks and make this show possible. I'm Brad Grimes, and we invite you to join the winning team at the City of Dublin Natural Gas. And we'll give you a free 40 gallon hot water heater or $400 rebate on a tankless hot water heater. Get a $200 rebate on the natural gas furnace. How about 0% financing for 60 months? Plus, we'll make it easier and add it to your bill. Take advantage of this incredible offer today. With natural gas, you'll never run out of gas again. Natural gas is dependable. Natural gas is half the price of electricity. And half of the price of propane. So stop wasting money today and call the fit up Dublin Natural Gas today. At 277-5048, that's 277-5048. Join the winning team at City of Dublin Natural Gas. products and installation since 1985. That's Four Seasons. First Lawrence Bank invites you to experience banking at its best. Whether you have personal or business needs, we're a full service bank big enough to handle all of your banking needs and small enough to provide you with that personal touch you've grown to expect from a community bank like First Lawrence Bank. Looking forward to your future, that's First Lawrence Bank in Dublin and Dexter, member FDIC. And we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Now, Coach, uh, you know, we got a, uh, a week. You know, now we get into the regular routine of the season. You know, you had your, your film study yesterday. Uh, I know uh, the guys have seen uh, Bryan County. Uh, they know what they did wrong, mm -hmm. I'm sure, uh, a lot of them. And what it takes to fix that this mm -hmm. week and then prepare for uh, Brian County. What, what, how do you envision, how do you want this week to go? Uh, I mean, I envision, I want there to be a lot of excitement. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people wanting to get better. I mean, you know, there's going to be one hot day and that's today. Uh, and the rest of the week is going to be cooler and rainy. Uh, so, I mean, I expect everybody to just be ready to, you know, get it on and, and mm -hmm. do what we've got to do. Um, yeah, they did, you know, offense got most of the film time yesterday. Uh, I told he's got to shorten it up a yeah. little bit. <laughs> um, That's what Palmer said coming out. We'll do defense tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, the, the big thing was on, on corrections. Defensively, I told him, I said, look, I'm only going to show you all a few clips. Um, 
y'all, I'm going to show you what's wrong. And it was glaring what was wrong. Um, and then, you know, I turned off the film and then I said, okay, I'm done with Johnson County. I don't want to hear anything else about it. You know, unfortunately I had to do the show this morning yeah. about Johnson County, yeah. but you know, that, that, that was my, my thing. I want to put it behind us. And then we started watching, um, Brian, um, offensively. They didn't watch Brian defensively cause they, you know, he wanted to take up the whole film session. <laughs> um, but we started watching Brian offensively and, you know, we're going to be able to get back to doing what what we really enjoy doing defensively, because um, you know it's it's not it's, it's traditional wing tee. It's not as much ABC football um, as playing you know option team. Uh, so we can you know we can bring people from all over and you know have fun and and our kids just when they get to do that they you know they they tend to go really hard and and have you know and get after it so i mean i'm excited um you know getting back to the basics um you know seeing a complete different defense um you know that that, that won't move around as much as a johnson county where we can you know get confidence because you know where the guys are going to be um you know and that's always that's always nice because uh, you know playing a stack like joko you know they're always moving um, we were prepared and we've been prepared for art. We just did not execute. And that, that was the thing, you know, my OC was so upset about. I said, man, we've had great offensive practices and we have, mm -hmm. all right. We, we've had very good offensive practice, very great execution. But you know, when it, when it, when it got to game time, you know, if, if you were supposed to cut down a four eye on the backside, we weren't cutting him down. We were trying to scoop him and he was pinning his ears mm -hmm. back and coming. coming. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it, it was just little things that, you know, things that we were like, okay, this is what we have to do. This is what we practice. Uh, it just didn't transfer over. And then, you know, same thing defensively. Um, you know, didn't it just didn't look great in practice. Get out there and just kind of had a lot of shortcomings. But, mm -hmm. you know, I have, I, I have confidence in our leadership and I know that this week, you know, is going to be the start of something special. And like I said, we're going to have a great season. Yeah. I know uh, at least <laughs> the, the ones that I've had, they're look, they're, they seem to be looking forward to getting back at it, you know. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's all, all you can ask is, you know, now let's, let's fix what's wrong. Yeah. You know, there's nothing that's not fixable. That's right. That's you know, right. It's not like you've got me out there trying yeah. to do this and you're like, oh crap, there's stuff that's fixable with the guys that's that right. you have. That's right. And I mean, you know, the other night, I mean, some really fixable stuff. I mean, we hit some big plays that got called back. I mean, you look and you've got, you're in a formation that you've got two people that are never on the line of scrimmage, but guess what? Everybody lines up on the line of scrimmage. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just things like that where they just kind of freaked out. And then we hit a dang, you know, 45-yard pass play, and then it gets called back because you got covered up, people running down the field. Mm -hmm. And they were. I mean, they, everybody was on the last scrimmage. I mean, I, I thought that the, the, the official crew did a great job the other night. I mean, they really mm -hmm. did. Um, you know, I, but – we just we have to execute and we've got to do what we do in practice and it, it's got to carry over we like i said it just it comes down to the confidence and you saw like i mean you saw a lot of problems especially with kids that were in their first year starting even if they were a junior but haven't you know haven't played for a couple of years or hadn't played for a year and then they came back um you i mean you could tell it was the first game they played like it was their first game it was almost you know it was like a fear of the unknown and um, it showed, uh, you know, we had really good attendance at film yesterday, but we had some people that, you know, went MIA because I thought, think that they realized, you know, I didn't really do very much in that football game. Um, so, it, you know, it's made us look at personnel. And, you know, that's one thing that when you, you have scrimmages and stuff, you get to see, okay, well, you know, even though somebody might have great hands, they're, you know, they don't like to block because it's a lot different blocking in a game than it is in practice. practice yeah. Um, you know, so I, we would have known things like that. And that was a thing that kind of bit us because there was some stuff that was there and all we had to do was get a body on a body on the perimeter, but 
You, know, it, it, it you don't happen. have to be LT. You have to be yeah. a body there That's you know, right. sometimes. That's you know. right. That's right. So, you know, it's going to make us move some people around. And, and you know, it's going to take some skill at, you know, catching the ball off the field. Um, mm -hmm. But, I mean, you know, they'll still get they'll still get their spots when we know that it's something they're not, you know, not having to block on and stuff. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's just part of it, man. Yeah. We we get we got to make the adjustments and make the improvements and you know we got to go to Bryan County and we got to you know we just got to let the dogs out and have fun man yeah I, I know it's one of those things again as a lay person you know I know that it, you coaches and, and it doesn't matter what sport if you knew how to get in the mind of a 15 to 18 year old boy or girl and <laughs> you know take those things that are holding them back and be able to check you you'd be a millionaire oh yeah, yeah. and i mean i'm telling you winning cures everything yeah. all right we go take care of business this week then it's going to springboard us into the next week it'll springboard us in the next week because that's all we need we've got talent we we've, we've got size we got speed like i said we just got to have confidence man mm -hmm. confidence in what you're doing and um you know everybody's got to understand you know you all 11 got to play on you know 110 percent Mm -hmm. every play you can't take plays off yeah so all right well folks we're up against another break again these sponsors they support east lawrence athletics support them hey i'm tom domini with devlin with nelson and we're a full service wholesaler specializing in plumbing irrigation and industrial products we are committed to building long-term relationships with our customers by earning your business every day. With a staff that collectively offers more than 50 years of expertise, our team knows your industry and is able to answer your questions and is ready to help you get the parts and equipment you need. At Dublin Wynn Nelson, our goal is the long-term success of your business. We achieve that goal with a simple commitment, doing things right, one customer at a time. So come by and see us at Dublin Wynn Nelson, 507 Airport Road, or give us a call at 478 272-3585 or stop by and see our website at dublinwindnelson.com. Hey, I'm Tasha Rowland and everyone here at the Cloverleaf Restaurant would like to invite you to come try our country style all you can eat buffet. We hold ourselves to the highest standards of safety and quality and the food we prepare for you. We clean our facilities constantly and we offer curbside service. Just call 478-275-2080 and we will have your order ready right away. And Friday is our seafood day. You deserve a great meal. Cloverleaf Caters, call us for your next gathering or event. So treat yourself to the Cloverleaf Restaurant and make sure you're satisfied. We open Sunday through Fridays 11 to 2 with plenty of dining or we can get it ready to go for you. Hi, I'm Anna Grace Myers from Myers Equipment and Supply, inviting you to come in today and see our full line of Can-Am products. Hunting season is just around the corner and we're here to get you started. For those who live for the challenges of off-road life, we've got what you're looking for. Remember, there's a Can-Am waiting for you at Myers Equipment and Supply, 301 North Jefferson in Dublin. Okay, we're back with the East Lawrence Falcons Coaches Show. Uh, Coach, we got Bryan County yes, uh, this week. To my recollection, I cannot remember us ever <laughs> playing Bryan County, so you know, I don't know much about them. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some things that, uh, that they do uh, that uh, we're going to have to be aware of? Uh, and some things you know, that we feel like we can do against them? Well, um, they're a conventional wing tee football team. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he was the guy that's head coach there now was at Warren County last year, and I believe they, I believe Warren went to the semis in mm -hmm. in single A, if I'm not mistaken, or they made a good run. Um, so we're we're getting a look at a conventional wing tee team. We're getting a look at a young team. I um, mean, mm -hmm. their quarterback, um, he must have a lot of. He, he, a lot of trust in him. Uh, he is a freshman. Uh, you know, a receiver they like to throw to a lot is is a freshman. Uh, but you know, wing T teams are wing T teams. He's going. They're going to run. You know, they're going to run the football. Mm -hmm. uh, and so you just you have to you know you have to shut down their misdirection attack. And you know you've got to be on your keys and make sure you're fitting in your right spots. And 
And that's how you, you know, stop a wing T football team. And we're going to, mm -hmm. you know, if they are young, we'll give them a lot of different looks to try to confuse the blocking schemes um, and a lot of different movements to try to uh, try to confuse their um, blocking schemes. Um, defensively, they're a four two five team. Um, you know, they 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 give a they give a lot of a lot of different looks out of it. Um, but I mean, you know, the office of staff. I told them I said, look, I said, you know, because the thing is, not only the kids, the coach, we got to do better. So uh, you know, um, everything's prepared for. Um, you know, I, I even added some stuff defensively to prepare for that we haven't seen on film, just, you know, conventional wing tee plays that you got to be ready for. Um, and, you know, offensively, I mean, we know we know what looks we're going to get when we give whatever we give them. So we just got to execute um, and things will take care of itself. Um, I've coached against Bryan County several times. I've been in the region with them. Um, you know, I've, I've been in the region with them, shoot, five years or so at one mm. point in time. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's, 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 it's going to be a long, it's going to be a long trip. <laughs> trip, yeah. <laughs> it, you know, I, I think it's a great game for us to go and, and start building our confidence up. And, you know, we've got to understand that, um, you know, they're looking at us thinking that we're a bad football team right now. Uh, so we've got to go in there and we've got to show them, yeah, hey, look, we're not what a bad you saw football team. Film yeah, what you, not that us. was not us. Uh, and I believe with my whole heart that you're going to see the real us from um, this time forward. I just there was a lot of a lot of hurt, a lot of you know, a lot of hurt, a lot of anger, a lot of just understanding that hey, this has got to be fixed. And you know, I think some kids actually were embarrassed because. They know that they went out half stepping when they should have been full bore, uh, and you you just can't do that in, in football. Uh, you know we tell them over and over. I said, baby, I can put you in the right spot, but I can't go out there and do it for you. Um, and you know I, I'm looking for some kids to have some break a breakout game this week, and you know hopefully we can go down there and get a big win. Um, and you know like I said, winning cures everything, man. Yeah. Well, folks. Uh, this Friday, uh, down in Pembroke, is Pembroke. Pembroke, uh, go down Statesboro Way. Uh, it, it, like Coach said, it's a long drive. You feel like, man. Yeah, it's not I'm, long. You you get off not far from I ninety five. Yeah, uh, it, it's kind of like one of those things. You're on I sixteen so so long. You think I've got to be hitting South Carolina soon, uh, but uh, game time seven thirty. Uh, we'd like to see a lot of folks make that trip down I-16. Uh, softball team, they've got one home game this, this week that'll be, uh, unfortunately, before this uh, show will air, uh, but uh, hopefully we'll get to play it. We don't know if, if Sally might have something to do with that. Uh, but then they start a long road trip. Uh, I think there may be three more home games after this one this week, and the rest are away games. So, but if you get a chance to travel to a local uh, game that we've got, I know we've got one coming up against Dublin, make that trip. Let these girls know that, that you support them. Uh, they're awfully young, but they have got the nucleus of what is going to be by the time they graduate a fantastic softball team and let them know that you're behind them and you support them. And as always, go Falcons. Go Falcons. Hi, I'm Tracy Middlebrooks. I'm with Muddy Paws Dublin. We are a boarding, grooming, daycare, and training facility. Our facility is a group play area. Our dogs get six to eight hours playtime every day. So when your dog comes to stay with us, they're not just sitting in a kennel. We have indoor facilities as well as outdoor facilities. We do separate dogs according to size and temperament. All of our kennels are indoors, so when your dog stays with us, they are sleeping indoors in a climate-controlled environment. When it's too hot or too cold outside, this is one of the areas the dogs can come to get playtime. That way they're not just sitting in a kennel. 
Uh, if need be, we can rotate dogs between outside and inside. So if your dog is only used to the inside and only goes outside to potty, we can accommodate that. Uh, we have a full service grooming salon six days a week. We also offer training. I am a certified professional dog trainer. I can do everything from basic obedience up to canine good citizens tests. So if you have any questions, feel free to call. Um, most of the training is done here on site. We have boarding also, as well as daycare. Boarding starts at 27 a night. Uh, we do give a multiple dog discount as well as military discounts. We like to say that a tired dog is a happy dog. When your dog comes to stay with us, we look at that as them getting a vacation.